Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a highlight of 2023 and stadium creator videos that I've created throughout the year. I know I've been MIA for quite some time and I do apologize. There has been a lot going on in my life. I suffered a heat stroke, changed jobs recently. I'm now a manager at a miniature golf course and um, I've just been going through a lot, including also my car breaking down a couple times in the last few months. There's just been a lot. It's just life is happening right now and it's made it so I can't really have time that I want to do things such as YouTube. And on top of this all, I actually ended up getting a new video editing program that I'm having to completely learn after using my previous uh, program for the last few years. So there's been a lot going on and I do apologize. I'm trying my best, um, but I am very active on TikTok recently. I've been posting a lot of review videos on there and I do kind of want to find some kind of new spark on YouTube, whether it's make another channel where I can just be myself and not worry about the YouTube algorithm, or maybe a channel where I can kind of do a bunch of games. I'm not quite sure yet. You know, YouTube is getting really annoying with how you have to create content. Back when I started YouTube in 2012, I was able to post whatever I wanted, whether it be vlogs and gaming and just random reaction videos, I was able to post all of that and the algorithm didn't care. Nowadays, if I posted vlogs and my uh, baseball content, YouTube won't recommend it to other people because you guys that like baseball may not click on the vlogs and then YouTube's gonna go, oh, this vlog isn't good and won't recommend it to people. So that's just how YouTube works. So if I were to post some Madden content right now in the baseball off season, same situation. You guys are here for baseball. If you don't click on the Madden video, YouTube is not gonna recommend this to other Madden viewers and vice versa. Then I'll have a bunch of Madden viewers and they won't click on my baseball content and it'll be a lot harder to grow. So obviously that leaves me in a really difficult situation during the baseball off season. I just, you know, there's not too much for me to post. Seed Creator goes dead about end of July, early August. And it's like that until the new MLB The Show comes out. Anyway, guys, I've rambled enough. Hopefully you guys enjoy the next few videos of just, you know, highlights of throughout this year. Basically a big compilation of Seed Creator videos that I have made throughout the year. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. And I decided to make some new merch and to celebrate that I'm giving everyone 25% off on all the new merch. Go check it out. The links can be in the description down below. And on top of that, I'm also putting a 30% off sale on everything in my store. So definitely take advantage of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you sometime soon hey guys welcome back to some more stadium crater we are starting things off with this amazing looking stadium this one is absolutely beautiful right off of the water with a nice city in the background as well let's take a deeper dive into the stadium taking a look at it from a home plate you got the ferris wheel in the background Keybank Park right over there on the berm. Absolutely a beautiful ballpark. And taking a look at the lighting as well. It's nice and bright. Very, very good job overall on the stadium. This is the next one we are taking a look at. This one is super awesome right by the Golden Gate Bridge. This one is very creative. It's like a small minor league or little league ballpark. Again, right next to the Golden Gate Bridge. I love the creativity with this one. And it's a beautiful view from behind home plate. And taking a look at the lighting as well well not bad and they even put the lights on the golden state bridge i absolutely love that very very good job overall on the stadium here's the next one we are looking at this one is in the thumbnail what a fantastic job on this it's a giant sports complex but it's all a stadium 
most of the time we see sports complexes that are separate stadiums but I really like this one. Taking a look at it from behind home plate, you got the soccer field right over here in right field with a nice garden and a bunch of seating over there. And over to the left, you have the football stadium and all of the stands as well. Taking a look at the lighting as well. They did a really, really nice job on it. It's really bright. You don't have any dim spots. A little bit for the other fields, but that really doesn't matter because you can see everything that you need to see from behind on play. Overall, fantastic job. Here's the next one we are taking a look at. This one is called Sunshine Park. This one is very awesome. I love the brick building in the background and right field and all of the signage on the right field wall. Really nice touch over there. And dead center looks absolutely beautiful. Really nice job with the grass all around the palm trees now let's see how the lighting is and that is really great very very bright in the stadium overall a really nice job here's the next stadium we are looking at this one is really really awesome it's in the middle of a neighborhood really great stadium i love the creativity behind it we also have a football field and practice field in the background as well from the looks of that building it looks like a high school and then you have the neighborhood surrounding it and the field itself overall a really nice job on it we're going to look at the lighting nice and bright taking a look at it from behind home plate as well maybe brighten things up in the outfield so you can kind of so you can see beyond the trees it's a little bit dark but overall it's a really nice stadium here's the next one we are taking a look at now i personally haven't seen the actual comiskey ballpark but i believe this might be a remake of how it actually looked and honestly without even knowing how it looks this looks amazing we got xfinity over here looks like a nice little eating area and i love the creativity behind the seating left field you have the high life sky bar i love that very very creative and now we're going to look at the lighting and wow that is fantastic lighting as well. Really nice job. Here's the next stadium we are taking a look at. I love what they added. You have a little house over here in the background. I like that. And the outfield itself looks pretty awesome. You have a bunch of different concessions and just different things. This one is called Nasty's Bar. I love the creative name behind that. And over there in left field looks pretty awesome as well. Taking a look at the lighting itself, pretty good now we're gonna look at it from behind home plate of course and it is nice and bright you can see just about everything that you need to see overall really nice job here's the next one we are taking a look at the first dome stadium of 2023 that i've reviewed and this one looks so awesome i love what they did with the roof the roof pieces all over here really really nice job the hanging scoreboard and right field just looking at it from behind home plate it looks like an actual dome stadium i love the structure behind it as well really really nice job we're gonna look at the lighting as well it's nice and bright in there no dark spots which is a huge and very important thing when it comes to these dome stadiums really nice job on this one i'm definitely going to be using this in a franchise series so great job here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is for las vegas absolutely love any stadiums for la las vegas or any custom ballparks like that definitely good for a expansion franchise series and this one looks absolutely outstanding definitely gives me la in las vegas vibes you got the custom bullpen over here in right field very different than what we've normally seen i like the creative props that they used and even in left field as well really really nice job over here and over here you got some concessions and other things the lighting itself is pretty great as well overall it's a really nice ballpark absolutely use this if you need one for las vegas here's the next stadium we are taking a look at this one is a college campus absolutely love it especially the college itself this is super super custom very very 
very nice job on that the stadium itself looks really awesome i love the berm over there in left field with the construction going on over there as well taking a look at the lighting itself nice and bright no dim spots i mean what an outstanding stadium overall really nice job here's the next one we are taking a look at right off of the water in right field i absolutely love it looking at it from behind home plate what a beautiful ballpark dead center is my favorite part with that bridge in the background this right here the american flag i mean i love it the drawbridge over here with the boat right there you have a hospital in the background i love this walkway over here in right field it goes all the way down the city so you can walk on the walkway and get to the ballpark absolutely beautiful and the lighting itself is absolutely fantastic nice and bright no dim spots overall a great job on the stadium here's the next one we are taking a look at this one looks really really awesome we're going to take a deeper dive into this one in dead center i love this right here what they did was the outfield wall over here just looks absolutely beautiful from behind home plate right field looks really awesome i love the giant scoreboard with the lights on top of it and just overall it's a beautiful ballpark good amount of concessions as well and the lighting is absolutely perfect no dim spots except for dead center i would maybe lighten up the concession stands in dead center just so it's a little bit more noticeable but overall it's a beautiful ballpark here's the next one we are taking a look at it's a tropicana field remake this is a concept for the rays and i love it it's right off the water which is something i would like them to do so it's a nice breeze in case it's not a uh, dome stadium we got tampa general hospital in the background bayside tropicana i love the name dead center looks really really awesome i love this giant building in the background as well bridge going across the bay and we have the south bay packing co i believe that's a real company in tampa so really nicely done everything you would expect in tampa and overall it's just a beautiful ballpark definitely a good concept stadium now we're going to look at the lighting as well nice and bright i love it obviously you definitely need it nice and bright and you can see a lot in the background as well and also suntrust tampa i like that sign over there as well overall a really nice raised concept stadium we are starting things off with this incredible stadium submitted by one of you guys this one looks absolutely beautiful we have max capacity max storage on the stadium as well and i mean it's just overall a absolutely beautiful ballpark triple deck seating in left and right field and the lighting is exceptional on this ballpark as well taking a look at it from behind home plate you can see dead center is beautiful and even seating behind the outfield wall so it's actually quadruple deck seating over there in right field absolutely love it and overall a beautiful ballpark here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is a small ballpark definitely a good one for like road to the show if you want some kind of like high school field or something like that i absolutely love the city surrounding it it's very custom and it just looks really awesome especially behind home plate taking a look at that the lighting on the stadium is beautiful you can see all of the buildings have lighting which is something i always comment on always light up your background so you can actually see it such a beautiful ballpark they did a really nice job overall on the stadium showing some love to another one of my longtime viewers ap gaming showing off the prison yard another remake of this exceptional stadium yes it's a literal prison with a baseball field a practice one you have tennis courts a football stadium and all of the prison stadiums absolutely incredible stadium i love that he rebuilds this in every new show game make sure when you download it you see this over here created by ap ballparks on youtube and definitely go subscribe to him as well he makes some awesome content and overall some great stadiums as well definitely go check this one out in the vault great job here's the next stadium we are looking at this one is from disney we have the mickey mouse ears over here and left 
We got the Hoth ice bar. I love that, adding the Star Wars into it. I love that you have the Disney castle in the background, even have a Disney cruise back there. And in right field, you got the black pearl. I love that. You got the jungle cruise over here as well. You have a ice mountain back there. Got the nice little parking lot. Definitely a really awesome ballpark. And I'm very curious to see what they did with the lighting. And wow, it is nice and bright. I absolutely love the creativity behind the stadium. You can see the Mickey Mouse ears over there in left center. Absolutely beautiful job on this ballpark here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is super awesome as well we have the nice big beach area over here in right center absolutely love those boardwalk and even the hot air balloons and you even have some hotels off the beach i love that boats in the background the windmills really nice job with the scenery back there and from behind home plate you could see the ship over there in right center and even some of the boardwalk and the lighting itself is absolutely exceptional on this ballpark 99% storage and 39,000 capacity overall great job here's the next one we are taking a look at another exceptional ballpark the first thing that I noticed is the awesome city in the background really nice touch on that because if you go behind home plate you are greeted with this beautiful view of the big tall buildings right field looks really nice over in left field you have a hit it here sign some cool little seating area and now taking a look at the lighting as well absolutely beautiful everything is lit up you can see they even put some lights on the building as well taking advice from me it is nicely lit everything about this stadium is really awesome 50k capacity awesome job this next one is another raised concept stadium this one is Publix Park and what a exceptional job they did and I definitely like the name Publix being the sponsor and then you can also have public subs at the stadium come on come on we need that we need public subs at Rays games and definitely go check him out on TikTok and Twitter J Rockhead and right field I love the fountain definitely Florida vibes with the palm trees as well and taking a look at it from behind home plate and behind the ballpark a nice giant garden and the boardwalk all the way into the bay in Tampa Bay taking a look at the lighting oh my gosh that is incredible Incredible. The lighting is beautiful. If you look at it from behind a plate, you can see just about everything. And you can see the building over there as well. Really awesome job overall on this stadium. Back to back stadiums by him. This one is for the Kansas City Royals. And wow, what a great job. The left field looks incredible. I love the Royals crowns right over there royals palace oh my gosh just so beautiful they did a nice job with this going all the way around the window like the suites or whatever you got the royal sign right up there lots of sponsors and the strikeout meter i love this arch as well in the stadium really really nice touch dead center looks beautiful and lots of concessions as well they did a really nice job on all of that and they even added some city stuff in the background too. Taking a look at the lighting, it is nice and bright at the stadium. They did a really nice job. Again, go check them out on Twitter and on TikTok. Here's the next one we are taking a look at. This one is very prehistoric, but we have some airplanes in the background. That's kind of weird, but the stadium itself, take a look at the scenery. I mean, this is just so super super awesome all of the palm trees in the background the hills everything is very thought out i love it in left field you got simple jacks you got the dude over here and you also got tivo i believe these are all restaurants really awesome boardwalk over here as well and one thing i would say is maybe lacking some lighting i don't know what is wrong with the water here it looks really wonky and I mean, if I go behind home plate, 
it looks okay i do see a lot of light but i feel like maybe it's actually too much and that's surprising because usually it's not enough lighting but this time it might be too much lighting i don't know let me know in the comments down below overall other than that amazing job on this one here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is super awesome i love old looking stadiums this definitely gives me the vibes from the early 1900s you got the old streets over here with all the old buildings a giant bridge this might be like brooklyn new york but i love right field in left field you have kind of like polo grounds looking stands and i like the old brick building on top of that looking at it from behind home plate oh my gosh imagine playing a baseball game here sold out crowd of 27,000. What a beautiful ballpark. I absolutely love it. And taking a look at the lighting as well, nice and bright. Maybe a little bit too much lighting on the field itself, or it might just be that angle right here. And looking at it from behind home plate, it looks normal as well. Maybe it's just an angle, but overall, beautiful ballpark. Today we have a compilation of a bunch of dome stadiums. A bunch of these have either a dome or retractable roof. And we are starting things off with this incredible looking one. This one is really, really awesome. I love what they did with the outside, very custom, and they made it look like an actual stadium. They also have this giant bridge and a Ferris wheel in the background. I'm gonna look at it from behind home plate. What an awesome ballpark. You can just briefly see that Ferris wheel in right field, love it. Same with the bridge over there. And you even have some kind of ride in center field. Pretty fun for the kids. You got a water slide. And the lighting for this stadium is absolutely beautiful. It is very well lit. We're gonna look at it from behind home plate, of course nice and bright no dim spots you can see a lot of the stadium really nice job on the stadium here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is las vegas and oh my gosh i love this one it's a retractable roof here in las vegas which is most likely what we will get so this is great for a franchise relocation series and left field you have of course the retractable roof you can see here Las Vegas Dome and Casino. I absolutely love the scoreboard, the walkway over here, and this nice seating area right against the wall. All of the concessions as well. Dead center looks really nice. Of course, you got the casino over there. And right field looks great as well. Again, you have more seating over here with the benches and with the lighting as well. It is nicely lit. You can see everything. There are no dim spots. Really, really good job. Here's the next one we're looking at. Another casino one. This one is in Arizona. You have a bunch of fountains in dead center and even in right field as well. I love that right field area with all the seats and uh, even the giant statue over there. Of course, you got the retractable roof on either side with a lot of lighting. Really nicely done. Of course, you got a small city surrounding the stadium as well. 45,000 capacity, 99% storage full. And taking a look at the lighting, it looks absolutely beautiful. Nothing is lit poorly. You can see just about everything and taking a look at it from behind home plate. Absolutely a beautiful ballpark. I thought I would show this next one off because you guys of course love these retractable roof stadiums. And this is a template for you guys. You can see the nice roof here and then you can add on whatever you want. It is 43% storage full. So you have about 57% to work with. You can add a city, of course, the stands, and make it look nice. So definitely use this template in the vault. And definitely let me know if you do. And make sure you submit your stadiums as well so I can do another dome slash retractable roof video. But definitely go check out this template in the vault. Here's the next one. We are taking a look at 48,000 capacity. Here's the retractable roof. And the stadium itself looks beautiful. I love center field. Lots of scenery over there, even have a nice little corner spot as well. And over here in right, you have a nice little fun area for all the kids. A lot of details in the stadium. You even have a practice field right over here. And the lighting itself looks really nice. No dim spots. Overall, it's a beautiful ballpark. Really nicely done. Here's the next one we are looking at. 
this one looks really nice as well i don't really see how it's a retractable roof but i like the design and i decided to add it anyways let me know in the comments down below do you really count this as a retractable roof i guess you could say this right here is but it's a really custom and interesting design for the stadium itself it looks beautiful and in left and even right field, we have a custom bullpen. So that's very awesome. I feel like I've showcased this one very recently. Maybe I'm wrong. You also have concessions in right field. Left field, you have a fountain and a pool as well. And the lighting on the stadium is absolutely perfect. No dim spots. What a awesome ballpark overall. A nice job. Here's the next one we are taking a look at. This one is a A's concept stadium. So I believe it's located in Las Vegas. I don't know if I count this one as a retractable roof. It kind of looks like it because this right over here. I'm going to showcase it anyways. Left field looks absolutely awesome. I love the scoreboard there. I definitely have Las Vegas vibes. More signage, a uh, fountain, another scoreboard right over there. I love this corner spot. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love the city in the background. Nicely done on that. Taking a look at the lighting, it is really, really good. No dim spots. I mean, just overall, it's a beautiful ballpark. They did a really good job on this one. Here's the next one we are looking at. This is called Castle Dome. This one is so awesome. First of all, the roof looks great. I love the scoreboards and the signs hanging from the roof. I love that a lot. And then, of course, you have a castle in dead center. The show sign with the scoreboard, nicely done. Then you have the giant bridge going around with the water as well. And you have concessions on kind of the bridge, I guess you can call it. Hopefully you don't fall into the water though. Overall, it's a very creative stadium. I love it a lot. And taking a look at the lighting, it is lit perfectly for a dome. This is very, very impressive. Really, really nicely done. Here's the next one we are looking at. This one looks really awesome. Taking a look at the scenery in the background real quick, we have, of course, a giant fair over there. You have a city surrounding the stadium. Really nice job on the background. Now taking a deeper dive into the stadium itself, you can see the Ferris wheel in the background as well as pretty much the city as well. Love that. A bunch of concessions in right field and dead center. Nicely done. And of course, you have a giant pool lounge area in left and right field taking a look at the lighting as well nicely lit no dim spots it is a really nice stadium overall definitely go check this one out in the vault For today we are doing all college and high school stadiums we are starting things off with this awesome looking college stadium you have the college in the background right over there you have the stadium right here, 4,000 capacity, a couple other college dorms and other college buildings, a couple parking lots along the stadium as well, practice field right over here, and a football stadium here with some stands as well. And looking at the lighting as well, it is nicely lit. I would like the background to be lit a little bit more. I mean, you can see the lights lighting that up over there, but left field is a little dim. I mean, I'm talking about that right there, but overall, besides Besides that, the stadium looks really, really good. Great job. Here's the next one we are looking at. This is kind of more basic, but it's a high school stadium. So you got the football field right over here, practice field, couple tennis courts, even have a batting cage in the distance. I like this little building in the background, just a normal, like a shed or something like that. They added a lot of details. You even have just a random trash can over here for the football slash track field. Really nicely done. And they even have a walkway going all the way down here. I love that a lot. Uh, they did put a lot of effort and detail into the stadium even behind the stadium itself you have a couple buildings and storage areas you even have another batting cage right over there lighting itself looks really nice as well would we'll like to see the practice field and the football field to be lit but you are at 100 storage so maybe cut down on some of the trees so you can add more lighting but other than that a really nice job here's the next one we are taking a look at this is another Another awesome looking field and I love the practice field up on that hill and behind the main stadium you have the soccer field 
even have a neighborhood right over here as well as a basketball court this is a university so it is a college town and they did a really nice job on that i love the detail for the college town and all the little small details as well the lighting on the main field looks really nice you even lit up the practice field but maybe light up the background a little bit more like right over there even the parking lot should be lit and even back there just so when you're behind home plate and you hit a foul ball or even a home run you can actually see the background right over there i do love the way it looks at night the practice field being up on the hill so overall it's a really nice stadium a little bit more lighting awesome job here's the next one we are taking a look at definitely one of the best in this video absolutely love it let's take a deeper dive first of all i love that the city is up kind of if, if that makes sense it's above ground compared to where the baseball field is that looks really really awesome i love the road the bridge and of course the college itself looks really realistic nicely done over here in left you have a bridge and a bunch of hills center field looks great i love the welcome to fortmanville park i love that sign and overall i mean looking at it from behind on plate looks beautiful and taking a look at the lighting as well nicely lit everything is nice and bright maybe light up the bridge just a little bit over there and left but other than that it's a really nice stadium great job here's the next one we are taking a look at it's just a stadium but i thought it was still pretty good this is old miss stadium so i think it's based off of the actual stadium 10,000 capacity looks really really awesome i love that they made custom bullpens in left and right field and the custom stands over there in left as well looks really realistic a little building in the background scoreboard on top of that right field looks pretty much the same and you have a couple concessions and signs as well and then taking a look at the lighting as well nicely lit overall it's a really nice stadium great job here's the next one we are looking at another college stadium and this one looks really really awesome first of all we have the nice college town in the background we have the football field right over here as well as the soccer field right over there nice big parking lot you also have the college right over here and you even have some dorm buildings right over there the stadium itself looks pretty nice and taking a look at the lighting the field itself is nicely lit you can see what you need to see but i mean overall good job here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is a pretty nice stadium it's mostly just a stadium you have a couple buildings in the background for the college and then you also have 8,000 capacity a bigger college i like the scenery in the background the trees the hills even have a parking lot over here and right the college itself is right over here and i believe this is florida state university at least that's what the name is so it should be based off of their baseball field which i'm a huge fsu fan so can definitely appreciate the stadium also taking a look at the lighting itself everything is lit perfectly what you need to see you can see so nicely done i love the scoreboard over there and left as well overall really nice stadium we are starting things off with this amazing looking stadium submitted by one of you guys this is diamond stadium taking a look at it from behind home plate look how beautiful that is you have the mountains in the background just center field alone looks amazing you have a custom bullpen right over here and over here and you have the bullpen benches as well and i like the strikeout meter right above the bullpens as well looked really awesome and taking a look at the lighting as well nice and beautiful overall what a great stadium to start the video here's the next one we are looking at this one is for the montreal expos look at the stadium itself the city is also very awesome nice big Big parking lot as well but this over here is my favorite part the expos logo oh my gosh how creative is that and it looks like it's made out of trash cans so kind of houston astros related too <laughs> we got some retired expos greats over here in left field i love what they did with the roof as well and the lighting on the stadium is absolutely beautiful no dim spots everything is lit perfectly 
overall what a great job on the stadium here's the next one we are looking at this one looks really awesome i love the scoreboard in dead center with the crown on top over in right field you have a very interesting building over here i like what they did with the buildings floating and even the crane because when you're at home plate level does not look like that crane is floating neither do the buildings look like they're floating so really nice touch on that i like this little area over here it says fox sports midwest i like that did they make that custom they did over here and left you have the world series champions in 85 in 2015 and you have the royals hall of fame right over here in right field taking a look at the lighting as well very very bright no dim spots at all overall it's a beautiful ballpark definitely a good job here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is unique because we don't see many in the country so i like this a lot you have a bunch of props and it's just a giant farm i love it you also have a racetrack right over here in right field a couple of barns in the background you even have a small airport and a hotel over there you also have a bunch of windmills and even hot air balloons as well very very creative i like it a lot here is the lighting as well looks really really good but if we go behind home plate it looks like you need a little bit of light in the background just so you can see a little bit more but overall it's still a really nice stadium i love the creativity behind it great job here's the next one we are looking at this one is a military baseball field as well as just a complex overall dedicated to those who are serving in the u.s army the navy the military overall thank you for your service but anyways we're going to look at this stadium you have a bunch of airplanes i like the little white house on top of the hill you also have something dedicated to the navy with the water and the boats over there you have the football field right over here as well as a soccer field tennis court and a basketball court right over there taking a look at the lighting for the baseball field not the worst and also taking a look at the background you can see the airplanes and you can even see the white house in the background i like the scoreboard on that tower as well overall it's a nice stadium dedicated to those who are serving in the u.s army thank you guys so much for all you do here's the next stadium we are looking at this one looks really really awesome this is an old stadium and I, first of all i absolutely love the outside of the stadium it looks really really nice definitely gives me old vibes as well especially the entrance that looks really really nice as well you have a neighborhood in the background small parking lot over there you also have some hills and trees in the distance and of course since it's an old stadium you have the bleachers and the lighting itself is really nice as well starting things off with this incredible looking stadium it definitely gives me vibes that it's a really old stadium and i love that they used so much green. They kept that color going throughout the entire stadium. On the outside, you have a nice little city. Inside the stadium itself looks beautiful. I love the stands. They did a really nice job on that. The batter's eye is beautiful. They did a really nice job. Old Hickory, it's a hit. I love the custom sponsor signs. Also taking a look at the lighting, nice and bright, no dim spots definitely a beautiful ballpark nice job here's the next stadium we are taking a look at this one definitely looks beautiful it looks a lot like cameras and yards i guess just because the warehouse building going all the way around i mean look at it from behind home plate wow they did such a nice job i love it and they even put some stands up there on top of the building and even inside there oh my gosh i love that a lot that center looks beautiful the batter's eye and overall it's a 33,000 capacity stadium you also have some concessions in left and right corner taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright no dim spots at all they did a really nice job on this ballpark here's the next one we are taking a look at this one has a lot of mountains in the background including some stands on the mountains and some lighting on the mountains really nice touch with that looking at it from behind home plate 
I mean, take a look at this. Nice, beautiful view in left field. A nice little deck area where you can sit under the umbrella and watch the game. Bunch of concessions over there. Left field in general looks pretty awesome. And I like this little corner in right center field and a bunch of stands in a giant scoreboard in right field as well as a couple buildings in the background. Also taking a look at it at night, nice and bright, no dim spots overall a beautiful ballpark here's the next one we are looking at this one looks really awesome and it's another old looking stadium i love these older looking stadiums and in right field i just i absolutely love those stands left field you got the old bleachers some old warehouse buildings in the background for the neighborhood i mean take a look at all the detail for the outside of the stadium and even inside the stadium looks really, really nice as well. Now taking a look at the lighting as well. It is nice and bright, no dim spots at all. I mean, just overall a beautiful ballpark. Here's the next stadium. This one I found on Reddit. I believe it's actually still from one of my viewers, but this is a new Rogers Center, very accurate to the current Rogers Center. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks exactly like it, dead center. You have the apartments, hotels, whatever they are in the background, the giant scoreboard. I mean, left field looks exactly like what I see on TV. You have concessions up at the top, the bullpen over here in left field as well. And even in right field, you have the custom bullpen. Right field looks accurate as well. Again, more concessions up top, nice little party area over here and even back there, more concessions. I mean, this place is beautiful looks a lot like rogers center from what i've seen on tv and taking a look at the lighting no dim spots whatsoever nice and bright very accurate overall they did a fantastic job on rebuilding rogers center next stadium we are looking at this one is very unique there's a lot going on you have a big city in the background you also have this hill in the back with the scoreboard on it a couple fun things in the background such as a statue hit a here sign and you even have a clock tower right back there giant hotel and over here you have a stage of course you gotta have some concerts and other performances and even the lighting is absolutely beautiful definitely my my favorite part of the ballpark and i love that they made the seats red it definitely stands out big time for the stadium overall they did a nice job on this one this next one is from 1948 we have ebbets field and let me just tell you the outside alone looks super realistic and beautiful couple buildings around but i'm talking about this part here it makes it look like a real stadium i mean take a look at that amazing i love that they have ebbets field right up here a couple american flags around as well and looking at it from behind home plate definitely a stadium you want to play at online road to the show whatever it may be even have some concessions or buildings in the background and more restaurants behind the stadium as well. Looking at the lighting as well, no dim spots, beautiful ballpark. I love it, love it, love it, especially because it's from 1948. I love these old ballparks, definitely a great job. This next one is kind of a dome stadium. This is in Miami. You have a giant dome over here and it says Go Sox. I don't know what team that is in Miami. You also have the Ferris wheel and all of the palm trees. You also have a water slide in the background. Definitely Florida, Miami vibes. Love it a lot. I like the giant scoreboard going all the way around. It's a curved giant scoreboard and a lot of seating as well. Taking a look at the lighting for a stadium like this. They did a really, really good job lighting it up, especially with the roof. Overall, it's a beautiful ballpark. Great job. Here's the next one we are looking at. First of all, I love left field with this giant maze in the background. Maze slash garden. You also have a bunch of buildings in the back 
as well over here in right field you have triple deck seating very very nice you also have the hall of fame numbers and in left field you have some fountains and some nice shady seating as well taking a look at the lighting nice and bright i like the seats being blue a lot of people lack on coloring the seats but i've been seeing it more especially in this showcase video and looking at the outside of the stadium they did a really nice job making it look like a real entrance right over here so definitely big props to them on adding all these small little details overall a really nice ballpark here's the next one we are checking out and i love this one because they built it on kind of street level where the street connects with the entrance here they really added a bunch of details into this and really went into depth i mean even just having a couple plants on the outside of the stadium the trees and i love this over here in right center the usn field on top of that scoreboard over here and left you also have the ultimate sports network absolutely love that i don't know if it's real like a real sports network but i like it very custom and creative looking at it from behind home plate is beautiful i love the city in the background awesome i love the creativity behind the stadium looking at the lighting as well orange seating and it's a very bright stadium they lit up the background as well overall what a great job on the stadium i have been sick so i do apologize for the lack of content but i'm feeling a little bit better enough to post and by the way real quick i just want to point out my brand new hat go get it yourself with the link in the description down below there is a sale on my merch and definitely go check it out because this hat is very very awesome you can start wearing it in every video but every single stadium from this video is a recreation of Ebbets field and we're starting things off with this one right here from brooklyn new york i absolutely love it definitely looks like brooklyn from who knows 1940s or something like that looking at it from behind home play absolutely beautiful you got the bridge in the background you have some construction going on in the back as well bunch of signs and just overall looks really really nice and the lighting on the stadium is really really nice you got a couple of american flags up there at the top and there are no dim spots on the stadium everything is lit perfectly and overall it's a beautiful and old ballpark great job here's the next one we are taking a look at another awesome looking Ebbets field we have the background looking really old all those old brick buildings you you know how i love those old looking buildings in the back i love the wall over here again it looks like brick all the old signs over there in right field left field you have the bleachers of course that's super old and i love what they have here gem safety razor one dollar because of course in 1920 1930 razors are one dollar back then now they're like seven dollars for one of them or something like that it's crazy out here inflation anyways the stadium itself looks really really awesome absolutely love it and the lighting on the stadium looks really good as well maybe light up behind home plate just a little bit and down the lines but in the outfield it looks nice and bright definitely a big ballpark good luck hanging a home run to dead center but overall nice one time traveling to 1948 now another Ebbets field this one looks really really awesome as well brooklyn is kind of getting more life now we have a couple restaurants in the background some parking lots as well looking really really nice i love this giant warehouse in left field very very good i love the outside of the stadium it looks like an actual stadium not all stadiums look like this so they did put a lot of detail into it we're gonna look at it from behind home plate beautiful job love left field and dead center right field looks really nice as well especially in the back with this over here you could see it just over the right field wall i really like that a lot and taking a look at the lighting right field needs to be lit up just a little bit more i feel like but other than that stadium itself looks really really awesome nice job here's the next one we are looking at this one looks really interesting i just want to comment on the outside of it first though because look how 
awesome that looks it looks like a real stadium again not all created stadiums really focus on this right here a lot of them you still see the back of the stand so this looks really really awesome nicely done the nice big bridge in the background all the hills the mountains they did a great job on that i don't know what year this evitz is from it's definitely very unique and different probably more like a modern evitz field but it looks really really awesome all the lighting the speakers the buildings as well and taking a look at the lighting as well nicely done on the lighting you could see a custom bullpen over here in left field and overall they did a really nice job on the stadium we were starting things off with this awesome stadium created by one of you guys this one looks really really awesome 46 housing capacity looking at it from behind home plate left field you have a huge scoreboard right over there dead center you have a bunch of concessions really nice chill hangout area right over there right field looks pretty good as well i like the city in the background of course a couple parking garages around they did a nice job with the outside of the stadium the entrance and just making it look like an actual stadium from the outside as well just those little details alone help a stadium out a lot taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright they did a really nice job with the stadium overall great job here's the next one we are looking at this one is very unique this is at the costco warehouse oh boy this is interesting something very unique like those nfl stadiums that we've seen in the past we got the food area right over here tire center you got the entire parking lot a private jet for whatever reason you have a neighborhood going around over here as well you have a couple other stadiums got stay fit even at the warehouse and the lighting is pretty good but looking at it from behind home plate I feel like that could be lit up just a little bit better the building itself and maybe even right field but other than that overall it's a very creative and interesting concept good job here's the next one we are taking a look at this one looks like a retractable roof stadium and it looks pretty awesome we're gonna look at over here in dead center we got custom bullpens absolutely love that I also like this little batting cage area right behind the batter's eye and looking at it from behind home plate what a beautiful ballpark got some retired numbers over there in right center really nice over there in left you can see the city in the background and of course taking a look at the lighting as well for a dome slash retractable roof stadium this one has some really really awesome lighting as well and overall i think they did a really nice job with all the little details for the stadium great job here's the next one we are taking a look at looking like a college stadium this one is awesome i love it 4,000 capacity they did a nice job with all the shady seating left and right field as well looking at it from dead center i like that view a lot you have some concessions back here also behind the stadium behind kind of home plate you have a big water area and of course a fair as well you have a city surrounding the stadium as well and in left field you have some bleachers right up there and in right field you have a bunch of advertisements and looking at the lighting as well they did a nice job brightening it up no dim spots at all overall really nice job here's the next one we are taking a look at another college looking stadium maybe a high school or something we have the praxis field here in left field absolutely like the stadium a lot they did a nice job again with the shady seating for the stadium looking at it from behind home plate you can see all the lighting the trees the hills in the background they did a nice job with that in the background you have the parking lot soccer field right over here and you also have a playground of course for the 
kids in a big parking lot over here and i like what they did having the parking lot in the ground so it looks like it's in the grass all the cars which looks good for kind of like a little league park or you know low budget college stadium something like that whatever it may be they did a nice job overall and even the lighting is very very good including the background as well looking at it from behind on play of course nice job here's the next stadium we are looking at this one is really awesome looking especially with that ferris wheel in the background looking at it from behind home plate in right field you have a nice little berm area with a bunch of people sitting out there love that and behind that you have all the concessions you even have some palm trees here in dead center left field another berm more concessions behind that i like this little left corner even have a building in the background as well also in right field you have a big scoreboard and a lot of seating as well 23,000 capacity they did a nice job with the college in the background as well and taking a look at the lighting of course it's absolutely perfect they did a nice job no dim spots at all especially with the berms as well in left and right field overall i think they did a really nice job on the stadium here's the next stadium we are checking out another retractable roof stadium really nice touch with this this is called the treehouse in oakland so it's a new oakland a's i believe stadium concept over here in right i love how that looks that's such a cool the wall area you have the stands down below a bunch of signage and then you have more stands you have the strikeout meter and of course some retired numbers with the giant scoreboard dead center looks really nice as well left field with a bunch of stands and you even have a pool over here and some picnic tables for seating as well of course you have a bunch of concessions all around the stadium and taking a look at the lighting nice and bright no dim spots at all they definitely nailed it with this retractable roof stadium 47,000 capacity overall great job here's the next stadium we are looking at this one looks awesome it looks like it's kind of in, like in the rocky mountains somewhere like colorado or something like that we're gonna look at it from behind home plate oh my gosh dead center looks beautiful just a giant scoreboard the mountain kind of peeking out right over here and all of the concessions over here in right field and of course 57,000 capacity what a huge ballpark i like what they did with the outside of the stadium making it look like a real stadium of course they did a really nice job with that and the lighting on this is absolutely phenomenal definitely did such a great job just all the small details added to the stadium it's definitely a beautiful ballpark go check this one out in the vault great job here's the next one we're looking at this is wrigley field oh my gosh i've never been personally but i know it's a beautiful ballpark and they did a really nice job on this definitely looks like what i at least imagine it looks like on the outside of the stadium here they did a really nice job the brick ground definitely gives me like chicago up north vibes definitely did a really nice job on that i like this little area for kids of course you have a nice little restaurant over here in left field as well you have the old wrigley scoreboard in dead center i like the crane in the background as well looking at it from behind home plate i mean that definitely does look like wrigley field so they did a really nice job kind of recreating it might be like a newer version of wrigley and i like what they did having this all be floating so it's not ground level where you can't see anything but they made it floating so you can actually see the building in that background and taking a look at the lighting as well maybe brighten up the background just a little bit but the field itself there's no dim spots 46,000 capacity overall they did a fantastic job on the stadium things off with this awesome looking one this is from santa monica california this one looks really awesome i'm surprised there really isn't a baseball field or stadium at that beach slash pier i think they did a nice job with this though i've seen it gta for example definitely looks like the pier from gta i like 
like this little dock area over here and left and the beach and the stadium itself looks pretty awesome as well some bleachers as the stands i like that little feature and taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright for the stadium and they even lit up the pier as well really really nice job overall on the stadium we're taking a look at this next stadium this one is a new raised stadium over here in dead center you see over to the right the raised feeding tank and to the left you got the sandbar definitely something you would see in florida you got the dugout dogs the high heat grill definitely florida related the thirsty ray again florida you're in the heat you're gonna get thirsty you got the grand slam pizza something i would love at tropicana field is pizza you got the smoking pit bbq and cabanas as well nice restaurant choices over here and left looks pretty awesome raise up tampa bay and over to the left of that you also have the raised team store really really nice touch on that over here in the right corner you got the raymond's cafe a nice little concession area right over here in the corner and it says welcome to the Rays tank overall i think it looks really really nice and taking a look at the lighting as well of course it's kind of a retractable roof so going inside of the stadium you can see the lighting is pretty awesome nice and bright everything about the stadium is really awesome great job here's the next one we are showcasing this one is a egypt pyramid one i really like the idea for this and you can see the background looks really nice as well of course you need a good like scenery and background to a stadium they did a nice job on the outside as well making it look like an actual real stadium really really nice job even have the parking garage right at the stadium very convenient for fans we're going to look at it from behind home plate obviously you got the pyramids in dead center that looks so cool and taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright no dim spots at all for the stadium overall they did a really nice job with this one here's the next one we are taking a look at this one looks really nice this is for kansas city and i think they did a great job with this stadium we're gonna look at it from behind home plate right field we are starting things off we got a lot of concessions right over there of course it's very important to have a lot of concessions at a ballpark over here as well you also have custom bullpens love to see it they did a really nice job on that that you even have the benches in the bullpen as well what a great job with that dead center looks pretty awesome as well i like the signage and even the american flags in the city in the back and left field looks great as well love how the stands kind of fit in with that scoreboard over there taking a look at the lighting as well no dim spots at all they did a really really good job with all the small details for the stadium overall great job here's the next one we are showcasing this one is a little bit spooky we may be in may but it's never too early to be looking at something spooky this one is Haunted Hollow Field. I really like the name and the theme going on here. Taking a look at it, your nightmare lives here. I love it. Absolutely looks amazing. You even have a cemetery over there in left center field. I love the rocks, the statues flying in the air, some concessions as well, a pool, and the stadium itself has a lot of capacity. And in the background, we have a fair as well. A lot lot of detail into the stadium i think they did a fantastic job on it and taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright no dim spots on the stadium at all really really solid job overall here's the next one we are looking at this one looks really awesome 55 thousand capacity so we are at max capacity over here in right field you got the party deck i love what they did over here really nice job on that dead center looks awesome and i love the stands right behind the batter's eye and these on both sides as well as the concessions behind the batter's eye over here left looks pretty good i like the bleachers and a couple concessions as well you got just corn right up here in left field on top of the concourse right over here of course you got a scoreboard in left and right field and a nice little city in the background taking a look at the lighting it is 
very, very bright. They did such a great job with all the lighting and the stadium itself looks really awesome as well. Great job. This next one looks really, really old. You can tell by the background and the materials used wood and like brick you got some bleachers over there and right in left field again it looks like a very old stadium i love that they actually made some bombs which is this like little opening right here and right here as well nice job on that they actually did it all around for the stadium something i never see with any created stadium so really really good job with the bombs being created i love that a lot again looks super old with all the brick in the wood but i love old stadiums and i love the background as well the like old looking landscape in the back you even have a little sound tower right there as well and taking a look at the lighting as well it's nice and bright no dim spots at all they did such a great job overall on the stadium here's the next one we are looking at this one looks really really awesome you got the big bridge over there in right center covering most of the stadium we're gonna look at this thing from behind home plate i mean look how awesome that looks even covering some of the stands gives you some shade and it, it's something very very unique you got some stands up here on the bridge that sounds like a safety hazard but you know what who cares fans are paying to see the the game from there i'm sure they signed some kind of waiver or whatever over there in left field look how big the stands are i love it a lot a lot of advertisement around the stadium as well they did a really nice job on that lots of concessions here in the back very very nice job on the cd in the background as well and taking a look at the lighting as well nice and bright no dim spots at all overall very unique and very awesome stadium here's the next one we are looking at this one looks pretty unique and interesting we got a big garden over here in right field in the background i like that you have a neighborhood surrounding the stadium and in the back you have a bunch of buildings throughout you have some water here and a pirate ship and a bridge going across the water as well very unique and interesting stadium you also have 33,000 capacity so nice job with that taking a look at the lighting as well of course it's nice and bright they added a lot of lighting no dim spots at all they did a fantastic job overall on the stadium and we are starting things off with this awesome looking stadium right off of the water we have some great scenery in the background as well what a beautiful job with the outside of the stadium we have an awesome left field looking area we got some bleachers right here lots of concessions over here in left field as well dead center looks beautiful with that nice big scoreboard and right field looks great as well with the fountain on either side with the stands in the middle and of course the lighting is absolutely fantastic nice and bright for the stadium in the background is kind of seeable as well overall I think they did a great job on the stadium here's the next one we are taking a look at this one is very unique you see the name I'm not going to say it because YouTube monetization policies I don't know if they're going to demonetize if I say the word but this is very interesting something I I mean it's very unique you got the church in dead center and i mean just overall the theme for the stadium goes really well with the name itself definitely gives me those vibes we got the devil's backyard right over here in right field we got the number 666 on this building over there we got goat statue and i mean it, it's it's a pretty creepy stadium i really like the idea in the theme i love horror so this stadium right here looks really really cool and taking a look at the lighting the lighting is very very good just imagine defeating your opponent in this stadium right here online definitely go check this one out in the vault great job here's the next stadium we are taking a look at and i just want to give a big shout out to joker wild for being my newest member because of that they get priority showcase which means 
all the other seniors that need to be showcased he's going to be ahead of them for becoming a member but if you guys want to get ahead on the list definitely become a member in the description down below but here's the stadium that he submitted this one looks really really awesome and i'm excited to see the lighting because there's a lot of lights around the stadium over here in left field we have custom bullpens absolutely love it really really great touch on the stadium right there over here in right, we have some retired numbers. Of course, this is a Mets stadium. And you can see world champs in 69, 86, and 23. Is that for 2023? Are you predicting the future? That's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, but the stadium itself looks really, really awesome. I love the big scoreboard in dead center. And of course, New York City in the back as well. And like I said, I was really excited for the lighting and he did not disappoint with the lighting. 49,000 capacity, great lighting, and overall a wonderful stadium. Great job. Here's the next one we are looking at. This one is super awesome. It's an old Milwaukee County Stadium. And then you can see the new Brewers Stadium in the background being constructed. This is, I mean, current Brewer Stadium back when it was being built. But overall, this stadium is really awesome. We have custom bullpens over here in right field. And again, I love this idea of it showing the new Milwaukee Stadium being built. You can see all the cranes and the stadium itself. They did a really good job with that touch. And it definitely reminds me of the current Brewer Stadium because of the roof. And taking a look at the lighting itself, very, very good. I would light up the old stadium stadium in the back a little bit more so you can kind of see the cranes better but overall on the stadium itself it looks really really awesome very creative great job here's the next one we are taking a look at this one looks awesome university field and i love the background it definitely is like colorado vibes over here you can see the mountains in the background absolutely beautiful it looks like the college is right back here what a great view from the college as well i mean imagine being in class and you look out your window to this right here beautiful ballpark i love what they did with the old brick building again colorado vibes 10,000 capacity and taking a look at the lighting it is nice and bright you can see everything in the background including the rocks and the mountains as well overall they did a great job and speaking of a great job go check out some of these other stadiums that the creators did a great job on. Also, if you have one you want to showcase, definitely submit it in the description down below. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you later.